Hey, what is up everyone? It's KB here and today I'm going to show you the best Android emulators for your Windows PC. So I'm using the Windows 10 but if you are using the Windows 8 or 7, these emulators will also work with your system. So the other thing I want to mention is that whatever Android emulator I will show you, those are my personal best Android emulators. Because I have been using Android emulators from a long time and I have used almost most every single Android emulators so this will be my personal opinion that which one is the best one okay I have few of them I'm gonna show you after this so keep that in mind that these are my personal opinion and personal experience what I have got first one no doubt about that the Emmy Emmy emulator I have made lots of videos about this and I have made uh, videos about best Android emulators in 2016 17 and it's time to make another video in 2018 because you know we get new emulators and we get new updates so we have to keep updating the videos so the first one the number one best Android emulator in my opinion is the MEMU play MEMU emulator so there is a reason a huge reason why this is the best number one android emulator okay so i will put link in the description you can go there and get the android emulator okay mmu android emulator now let me tell you the reason why this is the best android emulator okay so the first reason is the this android emulator gets the update regularly like as you can see here a uh, date uh, I think a few days ago we got the new update for this Android emulator okay so that is the first reason and second reason is that uh, this Android emulator runs on Android 5.1 lollipop and uh, if you look at the most popular uh, Android emulator like BlueStack that runs only in KitKat and but this Android emulator runs in uh, Android KitKat Android lollipop and they recently updated the um, the new version and uh, in new version you will see that the android lollipop is the default android emulator okay you can also download the kitkat version of this and run the lollipop and kitkat both at the same time you can run multiple instances so this is the reason why this android emulator is the best one let me show you now as you can see i have opened the mmu play mmu emulator default one so as you can see i'm gonna go into the settings and let me show you the android version what it has as you can see android 5.1.1 so this is the default android version in mmu now okay because they recently updated so this is the reason you know if you get the new updates for your program they will get better so th th this is the reason why this android emulator is the best one okay and not only that it gets the update this is really the best android emulator it has you know it is smooth uh, even if you have a slow computer you can run it you have to do some settings and you will be able to run the android uh, pretty smoothly okay so let me show you as you can see android lollipop okay as you can see this is the android lollipop running emulator so it has a key mapping one of the best key mapping tools to if you are playing the game android game you have to use this key mapping tool to map your keyboard computer keyboard to play the android games so you know you just uh, do the key mapping if you don't know about like how to do the key mapping just comment down below i may try to make a video on how to do the key mapping in android emulator like memu or nox okay and this android emulator runs pretty smooth because it has say android lollipop that is the third reason why this is the best android emulator now let me show you a few settings you can do to make your android emulator much faster so you just go into the settings okay go into the settings here we have a general tab advanced tab network others and shortcut you have to focus on general tab and after that performance and after that resolution frame rate graphic and language okay so these are the most important settings 
Uh, if you change these, you can make your uh, emulator run faster or slower. It depends on your uh, PC system. If you have a beast computer, you can select the higher settings. And uh, if you uh, have a slow computer, you can select lower settings. As you can see performance, I have selected the low setting for now. You, I can select middle one. I can select high one. I, I can even do the custom. Like I can select the multiple uh, CPU like two. And I can select the 4 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM, how, how much you want to add. I have 8 GB of RAM, so I can add almost like 4 GB of RAM. And after that, I can go into the uh, resolution type, tablet or mobile. I, I suggest you to go with the tablet. And after that, you can select the resolution up to 1080p. As you can see, I can select the 1080p resolution. But if your PC is slow, you just select the 720p. And frame rate. You can select the you know 60 fps up to 60 fps or even uh, like 120 fps frame rate but i think the 60 fps or 30 fps will do okay and after that we have a graphic setting there we can select the opengl or direct x for me both of them works just fine i can select the direct x works fine for me i can select the open gl works just fine for me so you can select anything like you know so language you know you know the language and if you are using the android emulators so you know how these works just you just have to do the best settings for your computer you know for your android emulator so you can make it run faster or slower it depends on you okay so after that it has a google play store you can download the games you know applications to use and yeah that's all and this is my best android emulator number one android emulator okay so let me close this and let me show you the another one okay i use two android emulators most of the time because sometimes if any application doesn't work in this android emulator i use another one you know just to make sure that you know i have few android emulators so i can test different application on different uh, emulators so this is the first one and second one we have the nox okay this is also a really popular and the reason is same it gets the regular update just like the uh, MEMU as you can see Nox player 6 is here and few days ago it also got the update as you can see here if the program gets the update regularly the program will get better and uh, they will improve the program so you know you have an idea right so there are many android emulators but i found that these are the only best android emulators for your windows pc because of the update because of the they are stable and this is just my personal opinion because i have used every single android emulators okay so yeah don't ask me why you chose these android emulators as the best android emulators because i have used every single android emulators trust me okay <laughs> just trust me and uh, I, I you know there are many android emulators like you know there is a blue stack there is a uh, remix os player there is a uh and os there are many android emulators trust me i have used every single of them and these are the only android emulators i found that works just fine okay same here in nox android player same you just go into the settings okay after you get into the setting go into the advanced tab and here you can select the uh, performance settings for your android emulator if you have a beast computer as i said you can select higher uh, settings to make it run faster if you're playing the heavy games just select the higher setting for your emulator it will run just fine okay go into the high setting and after that select the high and you can select the resolution up to 1080p you can also select the graphic card mode or the uh, direct x mode so i you know i ha i don't have a problem with direct x or neither OpenGL. I, I can select any of them so I can you know select any of them I don't have a problem with that so if you do the right setting as your require requirement these Android emulators will run just fine okay and if you are wondering why this is the second best Android emulator in my opinion because it has a Android KitKat it runs on Android KitKat it doesn't have a Android Lollipop and uh, if you have Android Lollipop you can run more games and more application than the Android KitKat so that is the reason but 
this also gets the regular update that's why i like this and uh, uh, this is similar to memu they both run just well you just have to do some settings you know if you do the good settings for your uh, android emulator it can these and android emulators can run just fine okay so yeah that's it i just don't want to take a long time i just talk too much okay <laughs> but you know I, I just wanted to you know uh, give you some information about these like why these are the best android emulators in my opinion and which one you should use so i suggest you to use the memu and the nox player okay but before i leave this uh, video i just want to give you more idea or more uh, emulators example that you can use okay so the next one if you don't like any of these you can use the blue stack okay why i didn't include the blue stack in this because blue stack is a paid android emulator yes it is free you can download the blue stack for free but there are lots of ad you have to if you want to use the blue stack you have to download the application they suggest they push to you and uh, if you don't want to get an ad you have to pay two dollars per month so i don't want to you do that and blue stack runs on only in android kitkat so it doesn't have a android lollipop blue stack is the number one best android emulator in other people's opinion but in not in my opinion because it is paid it has ads and there is a other android emulator called remix os player you can also use this and this is the only one android emulator which has an android 6 marshmallow version of android okay but i don't like to use this much i have installed it uh, in my desktop if you want to check it as you can see remix os player okay i have this but i don't like to use this because uh, it's been a long time they didn't update it this and they haven't fixed anything if there is any problem you know it's a little bit laggy and uh, yeah it's been like uh, one and a half year they haven't updated this android emulator that's why i just use this android emulator less i don't use it a lot okay so and uh, the, so th this is also if you want if you have a beast computer you can try this out and there is there are many android emulators i i want to show you but if you want if you really want to play some games and applications and you want to uh, run android applications in your system then i go with the nox and meme emulator okay and you can also run multiple instances of both nox and the memu emulator just create you can create the uh, you know multiple instances like you can run two memus at the same time and two nox player at the same time so i think i have to end this video right here and uh, now tell me you guys tell me that what do you think which one is the best android emulator in your opinion you know i have been using android emulators from a long time you know and these are the emulators i use personally and because they works just fine for me and they get they gets the update regularly that's why i love these android emulators just tell me in the comments that which one is the best android emulator in your opinion okay and uh, maybe i have missed the best of best android emulator if there is any android emulator i haven't tested let me know okay there is no android emulator good as these ones okay mm -hmm. so yeah just a personal opinion just don't take it seriously you know it's just my personal opinion because i have used them from a long time and they are just good for me so yeah that's all i will put link in the description for the uh, nox and meme player you can go there and get them all and test them out and let me know your opinion about these and yeah i will see you in the next one take care of self and fun bye bye Shh.